Hello, this is Kurt Walner. The state dining room has many challenges in doing the render, and not the least of which is the complicated table settings. There's so many different aspects of this room that we'll have to discover how we go from this to this. First thing that we have to do in the inking is to work on the most complicated thing in the room, which is the chandelier. So many armatures hanging down and it gets to be a confusing welter of things. But because I have a very firm grasp of where all of these things go, I can bang it out. The next thing to ink in is the table settings. Once I get the render paper on top of the pencil, I can see that I can't see it very well. The pencil lines are not really heavy enough. So I'm going to have to ink the pencil. Double inking 52 of these play settings is going to be a little bit monotonous. So I decided that I was going to hinge the render paper so that I could flip back and forth between inking a table setting in the pencil and then flipping the render paper in position and doing the inking of the render, flipping the render paper back on out of position so that I can do the next play setting and so on. Otherwise, it would have been très fatigué. In any presidential palace, there has to be lots of gold. The chairs and the plates, filling these in with a nice gold tint and shading them is just hours of mindless fun. Just love it. Then we ink the devilishly complicated walls with their pilasters or pilasters and all the paneling that was uh, designed by Charles McCann for Theodore Roosevelt. These little olive branch laurel wreath things, that's where, they'd, that's where Theodore Roosevelt's animal heads used to be. I don't know when they disappeared, probably after he left the White House, but there they are still. I always wondered, what in the hell? What are those for? And that's what they're for. Inking the walls is difficult because of the oblique angle that we're working from. It's very challenging to get all of this detail in correctly because of the slant of the walls. It's hard to show you with all that fast motion photography that I like to use how to show you how slow this process really is. Just drawing one line of a pilster takes just that long. I turn the piece around in different directions so that I can kiss the paper just right. And that is about how fast that goes.
but also oblique is the ceiling. All of this plaster and dentals and different levels are all meant to be seen by people in the room from underneath, but we're looking obliquely straight across it, which makes it doubly difficult to get it to look right. You may recall that in the family dining room, the carpet went in first because it was very complicated. And if I screwed it up, I wanted to be able to regroup. In the state dining room, there are so many other things to worry about that the carpet, which is relatively simple, can go in last. And to facilitate that, I have done this separate cartoon of the carpet pattern. And we slip that in underneath and start in. Okay, now that I've got the border in, I can fill all of this middle area with my light blue background and begin scribbling in all of the olive or oak branches, whatever they are. And I like how this turned out. I like the I like the semicircular table. It gives us sense of the scale of the room, its largeness, without my having to draw like a hundred place settings and little tiny round tables like they do it today. I also like the butler's pantry next to the family dining room. There's a lot of pictures of this area, believe it or not, and trying to figure out what is the most current version is uh, very interesting. And after all that, we have a special guest with us today. Hi, hi. hi. <laughs> Is it on? Are we it, on? It, Are we recording on. right now? Yes, it's, okay. it's on. How do I look? I'm here with my Are wife, Joanne. Joanne is the one who makes dinner last night. Hi. And it's all real, not real chicken. It's, 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 it's just it's a bunch of chicken. It's okay. just a bunch of cotton balls. Since the state dining room is now done, we are uh, at that point where we ask our lovely guest here to pick the subject of the next drawing. I have the names of the drawings that I want to do on this uh, piece of, on these pieces of paper, and then we put them in the uh, Julia Child's mixing bowl, or as Martha would call it, scrap. Scrap waste and then we mix these up or i ask my guest to mix these and then she's going to pick what's the next subject okay it's this one it's this one red blue and green room oh boy we're gonna that have sounds fun exciting we're gonna have fun with that one so red blue and green room uh -huh. that's patriotic so where they keep the flags oh they keep the flags in every room <laughs> thanks for your down my Thanks for your oh, attention. Oh, I can take a hint. Fine. You don't need me anymore. And, you know, you and this? Stupid. God. God. <laughs> I cut that one somewhere. <laughs> anyway, if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.